They say good things come to those who wait. Well, I had to wait a long time, but was it worth the wait? I'm Andrew, and I'm a watch addict. Hey guys, hope you're well. So today, bizarrely, it's a video I'm making on my new watch bracelet. Not a watch itself, the bracelet. So the bracelet has finally arrived for my Amiga Globemaster. And initial thoughts are, my, my anticipation was uh, it had no micro adjustment. I was really, really concerned about that. And it's got a butterfly clasp. I don't like butterfly clasps. I think they're pretty pointless, they're pretty annoying, they're quite difficult to use as well, aren't they? I don't know anyone that's gone, oh yeah, I love butterfly class, but actually, I've landed lucky. I have, I've got the perfect fit. Now, if it's 100 degrees tomorrow and it gets super hot and my wrist swells, I might be having a different conversation, but as it stands, what day is it now? It's Tuesday, I got it on Saturday and I took the links out myself and jeez... I had to walk away, have a breather, just take five minutes in a dark room. What a battle it was to get them screws out. Now, I consider myself quite a handy character. I've previously fitted my own bathroom and my own kitchen and stuff in the past. And I've got my own little screwdriver set, as every as every watch addict should have. Come on, guys. If you haven't got your own little screwdriver set, you're not doing it right. And I've got my own little screwdriver set. And I've, I've all my watches, I've taken the links out, added links, taken them away. <clears throat> Amiga ones included. But, oh, it put up a fight and it really pissed me off. Oh, I was so stressed. Even my, my daughter was going, what's up with you? What's up with you? What are you doing? I'm like, nothing. It's okay. The little screws, they're so little. And that's where Amiga, I don't like it. On Rolex, uh, the screw comes out and it's just one big ball all the way through. Dead easy to use. It feels secure. With these little screws that come out of the Amiga bracelets, they're so delicate, they're so small, the fiddler to get back in and out. And then you have to take both of them off from both ends, take it out and then push the bar through. Now, granted, you'll probably only have to do that one in your life, but I'll be honest, I wrecked a couple of screws doing it and that's not like me. I'm usually quite careful with it, but it was just so difficult. In the end, I had to get the, the, the eldest daughter to hold the top of the screwdriver to offer force down while I was also pushing down and twisting it. That's how difficult and annoying it was. I got a proper sweat on. I needed a cold bath afterwards to calm down, not because I was too excited, because I was too pissed off. But the finish is great. Now, for me, all brushed with a fluted bezel, it actually gives a really mixed vibe off. I think a fluted bezel, you're always going to say is dressy, snazzy, and it catches the light. But by all accounts, the point of the flu is actually rounded off a little bit, so it catches light, but in a quite muted way. And the all brushed finish, it does add to that. You'd have to say tool aesthetic, but it's it's not. It's a dress watch ultimately, but it's, it's actually got some serious heft with the bracelet. So I think it is. It's that hybrid of tool and dress that I suppose ultimately is what I've been striving for. Now the comfort is definitely there. The crown doesn't dig in, which it does on my date just. Uh, Saturday night, I even slept in it. I even went full hog. I'll give it the full treatment. And I slept in it. And you know what? There's no miscomfort. I didn't have a mark on the back of my hand there where the crown digs in as well. So overall, it's been a revelation. It's made me love the watch. The date just is in the drawer. It's stopped working for the first time in months because it's run out of power. And I've just been wearing this nonstop. The comfort's there. The look's there. The quality's there. The bracelet itself is amazing. No micro adjustment, but I've got away with it. Uh, previously, I've said that I did not get away with it on my Railmaster. I ended up selling it because of that. Just one link, it was baggy. Put a, take a link out and it was too tight. It used to drive me insane. Uh, the Seamaster, that didn't have any micro adjustment, but I got away with this. So it, it was literally 50-50 for me which way it were going to go. And because this is a gift from my parents, what a relief that it works. It's got the heft, the quality. It's gorgeous. That white dial as well. It's quite a plain, sterile looking watch now, but it is a fantastic piece. If I had to criticise the bracelet, 
It's weird. So on the end links there, I mean, obviously, if you spread them all out, there's a gap between them all, which obviously makes sense. But when it hangs off your wrist, there's just the gap is there all the time where the rest of the links are pretty close together. So there's, there's not much of a gap. So, I mean, that is really, really small gripe. I'm picking, looking for a fault, basically. But yeah, that just, when I first put it on, I noticed the, the small gap. And it's one of them, once you've seen it, you're always looking at it. But the last couple of days, I got used to wearing it. And because it is so comfy, and because there's no micro adjustment, there's no temptation to fiddle with it to try and get a better fit because it's only 39 mil as well it's a really good size and if it rides down on my wrist like that which it does from time to time because it's not overly a big watch it doesn't look that bad i mean some people would argue that's where you should wear your watch anyway but for me i like it right up here so a big watch when it dangles down i think it, oh, it looks a bit gaudy and horrible i really don't like that look to be honest so because of its sizing because it's all brushed because it is comfortable can't, this see I, I like taking my watch on and off i like playing with it might take it off look at it take a watch shot put it back on but with a butterfly glass they're just annoying now please tell me is there anybody anybody out there that thinks no i like them i can't understand the concept of them to be honest i appreciate that it's probably a bit more jewelry like because it's just one continuous band round but yeah they just annoy me a little bit would i complain to my mum and <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm very grateful. I hope they're not watching. And if they are watching, thank you very much. I appreciate it both and I love you both very much. So ah, I'm really, really glad that this bracelet has worked out for me. I, I, I like the leather strap, but it just, for me personally, it feels like half a watch when you haven't got the heft of a bracelet on there. So this is one that is a keeper in my collection. <laughs> I just love it. I'm really happy it's worked out the way it has. That two and a half month wait for the bracelet makes it all the more sweeter. Right, guys. Do you like butterfly clasps? Do you like the Amida Globemaster? And what do you think of it? That flute of bezel, the all brushed finish. I think they've hit the nail on the head and it's a real contender, actually. I knew very little about it until I bought it. It's not a popular Amiga, but geez. Oh la la. Right, guys, over and out. I'll see you in the next one.